What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer cryptocurrency between different chains without transferring your cryptocurrency to exchange and then withdraw to a different chain. So basically it's just going to be from one chain to another. And for this video tutorial, we're going to be using this dApp called Connext. And I'll leave a link in the description below. And then as you can see right here, trustless cross chain communication bridge earn and build on most secure network and then if we scroll more down you can see right here this is most of the chains that are supported the future is cross chain and looks like most of those chains are evm compatible ethereum virtual machines low cost trustless universal connects can be deployed to and work on the same way on any kind of chain or l2 systems and then right here you can see liquidity and if we press on explore the network you can see total value locked here on different chains ethereum binance matic avalanche phantom and other ones and then if you scroll down you can see all the top tokens by liquidity then if we go back if we scroll up and we press on app then it's going to take us to this page so first we need to connect our wallet and for this video tutorial i'm going to be using metamask wallet and you can use either wallet connect coinbase wallet and i never actually use this other two ones so we're just going to use metamask then this window is going to appear we're going to have to confirm so press on next and then connect and then it's going to connect so here's the thing you have to make sure that you have both chains set up on your metamask so for example if we open metamask so for this video tutorial what i'm going to do i'm going to send one usdc from binance smart chain to polygon matic chain you have to make sure you have both chains added to the metamask and if you don't know how to do that i already made video how to add binance and polygon matic and i'm going to leave a link in the description below and to switch between chains you'll just have to press on this little carrot and then change it to matic mainnets that's the polygon or smart chain so since i'm going to be doing from smart chain i'm going to choose smart chain i'm going to choose which token at this time there is only so many tokens you can send usdt usdc DAI, ethereum btcb graph fei and gth and the top three there are stable coins so i'm going to be sending stable coin usdc and then i'm going to choose chain and i'll be sending to polygon because i know polygon and usdc supports on multiple chains and now we have to set amount how much we would like to send let's see if i can send the entire amount that i have so it looks like for one dollar fees are going to be 33 cents and i'm guessing this is because i'm only sending one dollar if for example if i would have ten dollars in my account let's see fees would be 43 cents so the reason why i'm only going to be getting 66 cents out of dollar is just because i only have one dollar but the fees are, are not actually going to be that high it's not even 50 cents to transfer 10 usdc so in my case i only have one dollar and six cents so i'm gonna send all of it okay once the calculation is complete as you can see the price goes up and down okay waited a little longer looks like the transaction fee weighing up just a little bit and then once you set up the amount you want to transfer press on approve usdc then this window is gonna appear press on confirm we'll have to pay nine cents of a bnb gas fees and that's it now we just have to wait Okay, 17 transaction confirmed. Once all this got approved, now we need to press on swap and then confirm. Then scroll down right here and then confirm one more time. Looks like 18 transaction confirmed. And now we're just waiting for a router. And it looks like an efficient funds. I think it's because due to the amount i'm sending and the fees went up slightly and i don't have enough in my wallet so i think it's just gonna wait until i will have correct amount to pay for the fees and now we got this little message came up says ready to claim so if you press on it and then sign to funds sign okay and now looks like transaction is complete and if we go back to metamask you can see right here i don't have any usdc in my smart chain and if i switch to polygon matic mainnet you can see right here that 62 cents appear in my polygon wallet 
this is the easiest way to transfer cryptocurrency from one chain to another they only support so many coins but you can do it directly from chain to chain with one metamask wallet and you don't have to deposit funds into centralized exchange and then withdraw on another chain everything can be done with this app and this is pretty much it i'm gonna leave all the links in the video description below and if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching